Chief Education Officer Saddam Hussein and the Ghana Teachers Union's second vice president, Julian Cambridge, testified in the High Court on Wednesday and Thursday in a case brought against the government by the GTU following weeks of strike action by teachers across Guyana over government's failure to engage in collective bargaining. Cambridge maintained the union's position while under intense cross-examination by King's Counsel Darshan Ramdani that the issue of collective bargaining, as per the union's proposal, was never discussed with the Ministry of Education. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal, in an invited comment, is of the view that government's case has already been proven during cross-examination. Everything that we have been contending all along we were able to establish it through the mouth and evidence of Cambridge, the Vice President of the Union. Among the things that we attempted to establish and which we believe we established, one, that there were regular meetings between the Union and the government, the Ministry of Education, ending until the 31st of January. That was established. Secondly, that at those discussions, many, many dozens of issues were discussed. And they were discussions and bargaining as unions and employers do. When Chief Education Officer Saddam Hussein took the witness stand, he was grilled on his understanding of the term salary increase and to provide evidence that it was discussed during previous meetings. Mr. Hussein is contending that the nation's teachers had engaged in an illegal strike at a time when collective bargaining had been among issues discussed during meetings with the union. However, GTU's attorney Darren Wade believes that the chief education officer failed to prove to the court that collective bargaining had been discussed. Mr. Saddam Hussein is currently um, before or rather in the box and he was asked to provide um, the evidence to suggest or to show the um, negotiation. So we are at that stage. Um, he was unable to, prov to provide it to the probably tomorrow from the bundle that was the end of the court, he would be able to, um, to provide it. But that's, that's where we are currently in relation to uh, the evidence. I think it's very, we are at a very interesting stage. The GTU took government to court challenging its decision to deduct salaries from teachers who participated in a 29-day strike to press government for collective bargaining for increased salaries and scrapping of automatic deduction and remittance of union dues. Travis Chase, HGP Nightly News.